like biting into a rotten apple or taking a sip of spoiled milk. Cold tea leaves an uncharacteristically bitter taste in my mouth and sends my spirits plummeting down because I was really looking forward to some nice warm tea. White tea, green tea, black tea, oolong, whatever it may be, it's not supposed to make me gag, double take, recoil, flinch away in disgust. I often find myself comparing my life to a cup of cold tea. In all honesty, what I do with my life, what I've done, it's more lethargic than pathetic, and I still can't convince myself that my melancholy spirit isn't my fault. It's a side effect of too much homework and not enough sleep. My cup of tea is made up of cortisol and dregs. Dregs dragging along beside me like a ball and chain. It's a feeling I can't shake, so I wait till it's had enough for one day. Meanwhile, my life isn't mine to live. Every day like watching myself through a screen, but this isn't a video game. No one gets a controller, no button that says pause, resume, restart, but it does slow things down. Makes my day of bystanding as long as possible, slowing every interaction down for me to overanalyze and etch into my brain so later tonight when I'm trying to sleep, I can recount every word I said and mistake I made. My cup of tea is made up of embarrassing encounters and misspoken words. When I say good to your hello, I swear I was listening. I was too caught up in focusing on what I thought you would say. I didn't realize you said something different. My brain ricochets between working too fast or too slow, like a pinball machine I can't control. My brain works as a completely separate unit from my demands. If I want to say something, anything, my brain will mix and stir my words together until they become a blended failure. Words that will tumble out of my mouth in an inverted order. Words that make my cheeks redden with the steam from a freshly steeped pot of tea. Words that make my hands sweat from encompassing warm mugs. Embarrassment is an old friend of mine. Uh, we play games together like children would. Hopscotch with chalk-lined chalk pavement, but this time I fall on my face in front of the hot neighbor boy. Hide and seek with crickets and glowing fireflies, except I'm left hiding while everyone else abandons the game without my knowing. Truth or dare, but I get laughed at for expressing my feelings. Embarrassment has weaved itself so deep into the fibers of my life, like the tea ring stains on my mother's tablecloth, that I can't quite tell where it begins and I end. My cup of tea is full of unfortunate happenings, but it's also full of summer nights driving down the jumps and leaps in the ground with the radio on full blast, windows rolled down just to feel the slaps of wind against my face no matter the sting, fireflies lighting up the shrubs in an incandescent manner. It's almost as, I'm, almost as if I'm watching fairies dance along the road beside me. My cup of tea is full of new experiences, like off-roading in the mountains and feeling the adrenaline Adrenaline course through my veins with every lurch, halt, and jump. Spending the night in a haunted hotel with creaky floorboards and too many ornate mirrors despite my baseless fear of the unknown. Drinking Texas sweet tea with a lemon on the side and sweat dripping down the glass and learning that even something cold can be good.